Energy is the ability to do work or produce change. It exists in various forms, such as kinetic energy, the energy of motion, potential energy, the energy of position or stored energy, thermal energy, the energy of heat, and electrical energy, the energy of moving, charged particles. Energy can be converted from one form to another, and it cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. This is known as the law of conservation of energy. Energy can be transferred from one object to another through work. Work is done when a force is applied to an object over a distance, and the amount of work done is equal to the force applied multiplied by the distance over which it is applied. Energy can also be transferred through heat, as heat is a form of energy. When two objects are in contact, heat will flow from the hotter object to the cooler object until they reach the same temperature. Overall, energy is an important concept in physics and it plays a key role in understanding how the world works. So what is your current energy? There are a few ways to get a sense of your current energy. First, pay attention to your body. Your body is a very good indicator of your energy levels. If you feel tired, if you feel sluggish, it might be a sign that your energy is low. So pay attention to it. On the other hand, alert and energetic, it might be a sign that your energy levels are high. You notice your mood. Your mood can also be an important factor when it comes to energy. If you feel like you've got a roller coaster of moods or mood swings, then you may want to pay attention to it. If you're feeling positive and upbeat, then your energy is high. If you're feeling down and negative, then you will notice that your energy consequently is low. Reflect on your activities. Pay attention to the activities and the environment around you because it will also impact your energy levels. This might help you identify and recognize which environments and activities are recharging your energy and which ones are actually depleting your energy levels. Seek feedback from others. Friends and family are really a good place to start. Ask them how they perceive you. If they see that you seem happy, energized and, and your mood and body and activities seem to show that you've got high energy levels, then that's a good sign. If on the other hand, they tell you that you seem always tired, always sluggish, that they see that you're not in a good place at the moment, then it might be a time to reflect and understand why others perceive you with low energy levels. Why are we energy? All matter is made of tiny particles called atoms, which are made up of smaller particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. These particles have energy. The movement and interaction of these particles forms of energy that we observe in the world around us, such as light, heat, and motion. Therefore, we can say that we're energy because we're made up of atoms which contain energy. Here are a few ways you can protect your energy, especially if you feel like some people are depleting from your energy levels. Taking care of your physical and emotional well-being, set healthy boundaries. It's important to learn how to set enough and set limit on your time and energy so you can take some time to recharge and you don't overextend yourself. Surround yourself with positive people. Spending time with people that are supportive and uplifting maintain your energy and even energize you instead of depleting your energy levels. On the other hand, negative people can really drain you, so you want to avoid that if you can. Engage in activities that nourish your soul. Doing things that really fulfill you and make you joyful can really recharge your energy levels and maintain a positive outlook on life. Take breaks and rest when you need it. I'm guilty of that. I don't talk for when you rush and you to go. And it's important to learn how to stop in order to recharge and avoid any potential burnout because it will make you 
step further from your goal instead of achieving it faster. Practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment is very important. It can really help you manage your emotions and feelings, reduce stress and anxiety, which will help you manage your energy better. Now, you may wonder why does one attract toxic people into their life. It can be a variety of reasons, but it has to do with energy. Let's say you have low self-esteem, for example. If you lack confidence in yourself, you may be more likely to attract people that you wouldn't usually attract and wouldn't let into your life. So it would be easier for these people to actually manipulate you if you've got low self-esteem. A history of trauma could be another reason. Past experiences or abuse may lead to let toxic people enter and draw your energy out. It makes you more vulnerable and people that tend to deplete energies of others, whether they've realized it or not, may be more attracted to you because of this. It recreates for you a familiar dynamic because of your past experiences. And it recreates to someone that's got trauma a similar dynamic to what they've experienced in the past. A lack of healthy boundaries is another one. If you find it difficult to say no or set boundaries and stand up for yourself, then you're more likely to attract toxic people that might take advantage of your kindness. So if this becomes a pattern, then and you may want to look at things that have happened in the past, the underlying issues that lead to you attracting this kind of people into your life because this needs to be addressed so it doesn't happen continuously again and again and again. You need to break that pattern. We need to remember that we're all responsible of our actions and the way we behave and let people in or out of our life to protect our energy. It's your choice and you have the power in your hands to protect your energy levels. So you need to take action and be conscious of it. If you feel like someone is depleting your energy, you will need to distance yourself from that person, unfortunately, because they're doing you more bad then good. There's a mosquito that I just <laughs> in my foot. Now, if you're in a relationship or with friends, any kind of relationship, whether you know it's a boyfriend, a friend, and you find that you're both on two different energy levels, it can happen. You can feel it. You feel like you're not on the same page, or there is a disconnect, or something doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel aligned. There is a lot of friction. It you're not in flow, in a state of flow, and you find that you may argue a bit more, or it just doesn't click and connect and it's not easy to connect and communicate with that person or you may be on different energy levels and that's fine it's just a matter of recognizing it and seeing the reasons why it might be the case it might be because of physical differences so let's say you've got different health or energy levels in general someone is more dynamic than the other person psychological differences mental health and emotional states may be causing it lifestyle differences you may not be experiencing the same kind of lifestyle in terms of diet exercise way of living sleeping habits everything you do in terms of your daily routine from somewhere else can create that as well. As well as personal preferences, you may find that you're energized if you go dancing where your partner doesn't like it and it's an effort for him and they feel like they make a fool of themselves and they feel completely depleted of their energy after a night out dancing, for example. It's important to remember that everyone is unique and different and you should do whatever feels right for you and your own energy levels. And understand that different people may feel energized or depleted doing different things than you do and that's fine. It's normal for people to have different energy levels depending on what they like or dislike. And it's important to be mindful and respectful of these differences. 
So you may wonder how you can actually make sure you take care of having a high energy. Well, there are a few things you can do for that. First is to get enough sleep. I guess that's like a common thing, but to make sure that you're energized, you need to rest well. So usually people recommend seven to nine hours a night, but just do whatever is right for you. So you feel good when you get up and you're ready for the day. Again, no rocket science, but eat a healthy diet. What we eat is what we are. So if you feel like you're sluggish and you've got low energy levels, it might be because your diet is not right and is not giving you the energy that you need. So you may want to look at it and find foods that are actually helping you get more energy and be fueled so you can be more performant. Again, another one, exercise regularly. That is for me the way to stay energized, to feel happy, to have high energy levels. It helps boost your physical and mental well-being. So it's super important to try and incorporate some sort of exercise and physical activity that you like as part of your routine in order to maintain high energy levels. Practice stress management techniques. Chronic stress, and I'm guilty of this, can really impact your energy can really drain you and you feel like you've got nothing left. Um, so you need to make sure that whatever is stressing you, you find ways that work for you to address that because in the long term, you could literally burn out without even realizing it. Take breaks and rest if you need it. Don't feel guilty for it it will help you get further. It's important to recharge the batteries and take care of yourself so you can actually have high energy whenever it comes to time to perform and do a task. Again, what works for me and usually what I would recommend is to practice mindfulness, breath work, journaling, meditation and other type of relaxing activities if you're into yoga or you love dancing or whatever will help you be energized and relax your body and mind then just go and find the activity that will help you get to that state and do that so that's it guys it's the end of the video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel if you've got any questions feel free to pop them down below i make sure i reply as usual if you haven't done so yet please make sure you subscribe because I upload videos every week. In the meantime, be well, take care of your energy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!